Good evening, everyone. Been a good while since I made pretty much any content, but I'm back home. Can make videos again, and today we're gonna be looking at, you know, something I never really talked about. Um, I showed it in a few videos. Some of you may have seen it, but uh, this is actually something that's very helpful. Um, we're gonna show you how to back up um, DS saves, not only 3DS saves restore 3ds saves and restore um ds saves sorry couldn't speak there for a second um using 3ds custom firmware so first thing you're gonna english is my first language first thing you're gonna want to do grab yourself a 3ds and make sure it has custom firmware so this is my uh Regular 3DS, one I capture card, or the Japanese one I capture carded in my uh, custom firmware guide a while back. So let us head on over inside of that. So we'll boot it up. All right, we're back. I decided to switch capture cards because this one is easier to resize than my uh, other one. So, uh, shoot, where's my stylus? Okay. So the again, the apps you're gonna need are. I think they're in here. TWL Safe Tool. Again, you can get this for Homebrew or CIA. I prefer the CIA because it's cleaner and custom firmware is great. And then you're going to need uh, JKSM if you're going to want to do the uh, 3DS save files. So, let's start off with 3DS. So, actually, the other one that I would actually recommend more is Checkpoint. And I think you download Checkpoint right when you uh, are doing the custom firmware stuff. So you should, if you have custom firmware, you should have Checkpoint um, installed. If you don't, I'll leave a link to it in the description. So let's go ahead. And I think, yes, okay, we have Pokemon Omega Ruby in here. So let's open it up. And we'll see where we are. And what items we have in the bag or what Pokemon we have in the PC. Okay, so in this save... we will organize boxes and we are just going to look at an empty slot so there's an empty slot in box number two and let's put a magikarp there so we're gonna put we're gonna edit a save with a pk hex just because it's a way to show you that the save is different when you restore it because i'm not really gonna play this that much but let's say you wanted to use an emulator with your save or something or just needed to transfer saves around to another system um, this is how you would uh, do it. So, let's go home. Or actually, I want to save at the PC, just to make this quicker. Alright, thank you. So, we are going to save. Yes, sir. -y. And we save the game. So, let's exit out of this. Exit out of that. Yep. And we are going to go over to Checkpoint. Okay, so here we are. F my stuff is finally loaded. Um, as you can see, I can scroll through the save data stuff. So we're going to go to Omega Ruby, hit A. Then we're going to hit uh, L to backup. Backup selected save. Yes. And we are going to name it... Bing, bing, bing. We're going to name it. Uh, Omega Ruby. Save. One. And then hit OK. And then we should progress correctly. Correctly save to disk. So we have Omega Ruby save one. So now we're going to power off the system. And take out the SD card, or if you have FTPD, you can use that. But I hate typing in the freaking stupid, whatever it's called, the the IP. I hate having to type in the local IP all the time. So here's our SD card. We I'll make it bigger so you can see it. Ah, they didn't really make it bigger. Whatever. 
Um, we're going to go to uh, we're going to go to Nintendo 3DS. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to go to 3DS. Sorry, we're going to go to 3DS checkpoint saves. We're going to go to Omega Ruby, and then here's our save. Oh, Omega Ruby save one. So we are just going to open up uh, PK Hex. There it is. All right, so we're gonna open up PK Hex. Somehow it knows to open up my freaking the Omega Ruby save, even though I literally haven't uh, forwarded it yet. But you know what? It doesn't even matter. So we're going to let's make a Magikarp here. So we're gonna just type in Magikarp, Magikarp, and. Yeah, it's going to be level 1, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't really care. So we're just going to set it right here. Um, it has illegal movesets. So we're going to make the splash. And we're going to set it again. So what the freak is the problem? Alright, I don't even care. You know what? It can be illegal. It doesn't matter. So we're just going to export the save and export main and we're going to save it right here to our omega ruby save one we're going to save it here and we're going to replace the old save so there we go we've just done that so now we can go back to our put our sd card back in our 3ds now we're going to boot up checkpoint and it's going to take like five minutes to load again so there is Omega Ruby. It loaded up pretty quickly. I'm going to select it. And then we're going to hit R to restore. So we're going to restore this save. Hit yes. So save has been successfully restored. We're going to go to the home menu. Close out of this. We're going to go here. Omega Ruby. And in our box. We will see a Magikarp. So there's the Magikarp we have just made. So that is how to uh, back up and restore saves on 3DS cartridges. Now I will go and show you how to back up the cartridges. So power off your system, then hold start and power on your system with custom firmware again to load God Mode 9. Go to Game Cart with your game uh, 3DS game inserted. Go to the trim.3ds and copy to gm9 slash out. So I'm not going to do this because it takes like half an hour to, or like 15 minutes to half an hour to copy it over to gm9 slash out. So I'm not going to do that. But once you have the copy to gm9 out, go to SD card and gm9, not GBA, gm9 out and your thing is going to be here. And what you're going to do is you're going to select it, go to NCSD image options, and you're going to do build CIA from file. Now, I'm not going to do this here because it's going to corrupt the game cartridge and break my cartridge. Um, that's why you copy it to GM9 slash out first. But this is how you build a CIA file if you want to download it on your system through FBI. But if you're just using the 3DS, then um, yeah, that's all you do. You just use the 3DS to whatever you want to do. So, now we're going to do a DS cartridge. So right here, I've got uh, Explorers of Sky. So now the game card, yep, it's empty. And we are going to put in, if I can freaking manhandle, there we go. There we go, so there's our DS game. We're going to hit that, and then you're going to go to the trim.3ds, or sorry, trim.nds. You're going to go here and copy to gm9 slash out. 
Um, there's no way to CI. There's a CI forwarder, but uh, again, DS ROMs. You, you can figure out how to use DS ROMs. These are pretty easy to use. They're not as complicated as 3DS stuff. So again, copy it to GM9 out, and this is a completely working DS ROM that you have ripped from your cartridge, and it will run just fine in whatever program you need to use it. So now we're going to reboot, and we're going to head over to TWL Save Tool. I'm going to open up TWL Save Tool. Very simple little program. So I don't know what saves I have on my 3DS XL. I think I might have used this before. So I'm just going to... You hit left and right to uh, name the save file. So we're going to go to uh, 2.save. We're going to make it 2.save. Um, so there we have very simple uh, pro we have very simple commands. We have B to backup save, A to restore, X to erase, start to exit, and Y to restart the program. So what we're going to do is press B to backup. So we're going to go B. And it's done. So we have that backed up in a file to our... Uh, I don't, what do you call it? I don't even remember. To our SD card. So I'm going to open up Mystery Dungeon real quick. So right now, in our bag, we have... Uh, we have three... We have a flash tag, a valiant... We'll do it with the special items. So we'll add another special item here. So right now we have the Flash Tag, Valiant Rock, and Shinx Fang, and we only have three pages to our bag. So that is the save file currently. And I'm showing you this because I'm going to use a save editor, a special save editor, to uh, edit the save. So we are going to, again, uh, shut down the console, and I will meet you back when we have the save file edited, or sorry, we have the save file, and I'm going to show you me editing the save file. So, peace out until then. <sighs> okay, we're finally back. Don't know what happened, but uh, I haven't edited my save at all. And as you can see, I have 200 of 1,000 items. So that is exactly three pages. Or sorry, hold on. Held items. 24 out of 50 items. So that is exactly three pages of eight items. So what we're going to add is a... Uh, we're going to add a special item. So we're going to add a another Valiant Rock. Because why the heck not? So we're going to add another Valiant Rock. Contained item nothing. We're just going to add it. So there we go. There's another Valiant Rock. So we're going to go to File. Save. As, and we're going to name it Pokey Dun Sora, just like it, just like it's spelled, and then dot three dot save. So we're gonna name it one higher than the previous save file. We're gonna hit save. There we go. Let's go back into our 3ds. Oh geez. Okay, don't know why my capture card just crashed, but here we are. And we should be getting 60 FPS. Let me just adjust a few things. Okay, that looks pretty good. And there we go. So, we're going to go into here. DWL save tool. And then we're going to match the bottom, right, with our number. So again, we named it Pokedunsora.3.save. We're going to scroll over to .3.save again, using the left and right arrows to move uh, save files. And we're going to get hit A, sorry, hit A to restore the save file. So here we go. We're going to write the save file. And then bang, it's done. Press start to exit, Y to restart. So we're going to hit start to exit. And we're going to go in here. And if we did this correctly, we should be seeing 
Yep, four pages, and on the fourth page is a Valiant Rock, the item we added in the save editor. So, that's pretty much going to wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope this was super helpful for you, and uh, I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Peace out, love y'all.